Hi, in this video, uh, we will continue to look into a parser generator. Previously, uh, we have looked uh, into a uh, bottom-up uh, parser, okay, how uh, we can uh, implement a bottom-up parser okay, uh, using a, a reduced shift parser. And uh, in this video, we will look into a parser generator. Yeah, so uh, we will choose a Sable CC a software uh, used for a parser generator. Okay, so this is an overview of a Sable CC. You can have further information uh, on the Sable CC in the web www.sablecc.org. You can have a old documentation about the Sable CC uh, software. Uh, in that website and also uh, all the implementation wise regarding Sable CC. Okay, so Sable CC actually is a software system designed to generate a parser automatically. Okay, so you can use it to generate a parser. Uh, so we will give uh, specifications and it is actually developed by a McGill University. So the user of Sable CC, uh, uh, like a programmer, uh, we need to provide a grammar file as well as two Java classes, which is a translations and also a compiler file, uh, a class into the uh, Sable CC. So these are the three uh, document that we need to prepare before we use Sable CC. Okay. So these are stored in the same directory as the parser, lexer, not and analysis directory. If you have installed Sable CC in your machine, then you will see that in the directory there will have a parser, lexer, not and analysis folder inside uh, the installation setup. So this tree file will be uh, placed, will be stored uh, in that directory as well after you have created it. Okay, next we see the structure of Sable CC. Okay, so we for the Sable CC, the input for the Sable CC is the language, our grammar file. So we need to provide the grammar file. Grammar, grammar file is the input for Sable CC. Yeah, okay, so the Sable CC will create a parser, lexer, not an analysis. You will create it. So parser and lexer is actually uh, creating the syntax tree, uh, syntax tree uh, for the grammar. And we also supply a translation Java is a file. Okay, uh, we need to compile it uh, and we get the translation class. Uh, this will be used uh, by the Sable CC. Okay, in order um, to run our input file uh, together with our input file which is the grammar file we also need to provide a compiler.java yeah so this compiler.java uh, need also to be compiled before we can use it so this is actually the sable cc structure so there are three files required uh, grammar translations as well as a compiler okay so what is a grammar file so, grammar file is a file that contains specification for a lexical token as well as a syntactic structure. Uh, so, what is a syntactic structure? It's like a statement, expressions of the language. Okay. So, there are six grammar. There are six grammar. In a grammar file, we have a package, helpers, state, token, ignore token, and production. So, on the right side there is the example of a grammar file okay so the first one here is the package so for example in this uh, program we need to create a postfix yeah, from the infix so this is the package postfix okay we create it so uh, uh, help, helper is optional helper is optional where when we need a further information so in this case they don't have uh, helpers okay and then tokens, okay, we have a token. This is our token. It's a declarations of uh, something like a declarations of variables. 
and we also have a uh, ignore token okay ignore token ignore token is used when you when you asking uh, the several CC to read your grammar but ignoring a blank space uh, so here in this case they said ignoring blank space you also can start if you want to uh, ignore semicolon if you want to ignore other symbols so you must set it under ignore token okay and then you have a productions okay productions is where you uh, create or write the expressions which is the grammar productions rules of your grammar so it is written in a form of a Becker's now form okay uh, the structure the format using a Becker's now form so this is the grammar uh, productions rules for the grammar okay next um here is another uh, further further information for the grammar file. So all names in this grammar file must be in lower case. So we must write it in lower case. Okay. So each definition, each of the statement is that there must consist of name equal sign, uh, Baker's normal form definitions as well as semicolon semicolon is the uh, represent the terminator of the statement a eh, terminator it's not it's not a token for the grammar but we we use that to indicate it is the end of the statement okay so what so this is the example okay uh, okay the expressions we have name which is a statement uh, we also have uh, that then we need to have an equal sign equals to so statement normally is a non-terminal okay then we have a uh, Becker's normal form definitions for in this case while LPR is a left parenthesis boolean expression a right parenthesis R par is the right parenthesis L par is left parenthesis R par is the right parenthesis and then another statement so you end it with a semicolon so that is how you write that uh, definitions in a grammar in the grammar file so an example of productions while I was like so this is the example okay this is the example okay so L part and R part are left parenthesis and right parenthesis okay so other BNF construct that can be used in the production rules is such as if you want to say an optional okay X Either it's zero or one occurrence of x, so you can use a symbol, uh, uh, question mark symbol. Okay, if you want to say it is a zero or more occurrence of x, then you use star. If you say uh, want to say one or more occurrence, then use plus. So this is actually a regular expression, eh? a regular expressions. So you can use it in the grammar. Alternatively. Uh, alternative uh, definitions okay let's say you want to write an alternative if not a that is p so you use uh, a vertical bar vertical bar here indicate or or okay for example or list equals to single identifier or or multiple identifier okay so single and multiple must be in a bracket it must be in a bracket okay label okay label must also be used when two identical names appear if they have a two identical name uh, inside the statement so we need to add a label okay to add a label to the uh, grammar for example here we have assign expr and assign expr there are two here okay so uh, we give a level the first one is in it uh, the second one is INCR increment so this is a level so level is in the bracket a yeah, square bracket this is to actually differentiate between the first assigned expression and the second line of assigned expression so you differentiate it using uh, 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 a label the 
mettre les labels. Okay, that's on the grammar uh, file. So next is on the translation class. Translation class is used to include action for the grammar. If you remember, one of uh, our subsection, we have discussed about the action symbol. Action symbol is used to uh, indicate the output of the grammar. What will be the output of the grammar? So that is action symbol. So uh, we can uh, actually represent or implement that action symbol using inside translation class. Okay. So what it does in translation class is they have a method is created to implement the output. Okay, so if you can see here the example on the right side here, we create a method. The first one is to uh, print plus sign. Okay, the second one is to print uh, minus sign. So this is actually the action symbol. Okay, so this translation class is, is, is actually a method okay? uh, that we use to include the action in the grammar okay next one is the compiler compiler is the needed in the several cc we need to provide it to our several cc because this is the main class uh, for our program so compiler is a class which contains a main a main method uh, that invoke when we pass okay it's a main method A man method, okay? It's a man. Okay, so here is the example of the man method where we can create a void man string argument, and uh, we also create a parser instances, create an object of parser, and we also can call a parser in this man method. Okay, so we can call what parser to generate in this man method. So assume the compiler is the main method of our programming, uh, of our grammar, right, of our coding. Okay, so that is the end of a parser generator, a uh, topic on a parser generator. So, uh, so we have uh, done uh, on chapter 5, right, on chapter 5, on the bottom-up passing and a parser generator. And uh, this is uh, just uh, uh, introductions on the Sable CC. There's a lot other actually, but uh, it is not covered in our topic. Uh, so that's it. Thank you very much.